Have a good day all of you. Today we can start the new topic kinematics. Kinematics is related to movement. In some textbook it is given as motion. It includes the topics different types of motion, distance, displacement, velocity, speed, distance time graph, velocity time graph etc. I am Jaya here welcomes you to easy way to physics with Jaya. We can go to the topic. Your subscriptions are my inspiration. So please subscribe the channel if you did not do it before. Also tap the bell button to get the notifications. Motion and rest. If the position of an object changes with respect to its surroundings, it is said to be in motion. If the position of the object does not change, then the object is said to be at rest. Motion is relative. An object may appear to be moving for one person, but the same object may appear to be stationary for some other person. For example, a person sitting inside a train feels as if the train is at rest even though it is moving because her position is not changing compared to the train, compared to the surroundings or compared to the walls of the train, her position is not changing because she is moving along with the train. But for a person who is standing outside the train, a train appears to be moving because the position of the train changes when compared with the position of the person. So we say that motion is relative. There are different types of motion, translatory motion, rotational motion, periodic motion, non-periodic motion, etc. If all parts of the object moves through the same distance in the same interval of time, it is said to be translatory motion. For example, a car can move in a straight line or in a curved path. In both the cases, it is said to be in translatory motion. This translatory motion can be divided into two types. One is linear motion, the other one is circular motion. Linear motion itself is rectilinear motion. When the object moves in a straight line, it is said to be rectilinear motion or linear motion. For example, a car moves on a straight path or a bullet shot from a gun, an apple falls down from the tree. All these are examples of rectilinear motion or linear motion. When the object moves in a curved path, it is said to be circular motion or curvilinear motion. Circular motion itself is curvilinear motion. Example, a car moves in a curved path or a stone tied at the end of a string whirled in a circular path. All these are examples of circular motion or curvilinear motion. Thus, the first type of motion is translatory motion. That can be a linear motion or circular motion. Second type is rotational motion. When an object moves on an axis and its different parts moves through different distances in a given time, it is called rotational motion. For example, motion of the blades of a fan, rotation of the earth, movement of giant wheel, etc. Imagine two points on any one plate of the fan. As shown in the diagram, a black point near to the center and a red point far away from the center. When the fan rotates, the black point near to the center makes a small circle, whereas the red point far away from the center makes a large circle. This shows that different points on the fan travels through different distances moves through different distances when the fan rotates. That's what when an object moves in an axis and its different parts moves through different distances in a given time, it is called rotational motion. Next is the case of earth. 
when the earth rotates the places near to the equator makes a big circle or it moves through a large distance during one complete rotation of the earth whereas places near to the pole of the earth they make a small circle during one complete rotation or the places near the pole moves through a small distance while completing one rotation thus different places on the earth moves through different distances during one complete rotation in the same way the different points on the giant wheel also moves through different distances during one rotation next is periodic motion the third type is periodic motion the motion that repeat itself at regular intervals of time it is called periodic motion for example pendulum of a clock the motion of the earth around the sun motion of the moon around the earth hands of a clock etc the pendulum of the clock that make to and fro motion at the regular interval of time the motion of the earth around the sun also the movement of the moon around the earth both are periodic motion because it repeats at regular intervals of time the rotation of the earth is also periodic it completes one rotation in 24 hours and start the next rotation again so that is also periodic the hands of the clock makes periodic motion the hour hand completes one complete rotation in 12 hours whereas the minute hand completes its one rotation in 60 minutes and after every 12 hour the hour hand starts the next rotation whereas in every 60 minutes means every 1 hour the minute hand starts the next rotation there are non periodic motion also a motion becomes non periodic when the time interval in which the motion repeats is not always the same for example the waves in the sea there is no particular time interval between two consecutive waves in the sea any time any wave can come so that is non periodic our heartbeat is also non periodic if our body needs more energy heartbeat becomes faster to give more to pump more blood to different parts of the body and when we take rest our heartbeat becomes slower thus the heartbeat does not repeat at regular interval of time it varies so it is also non periodic these different motions can occur at the same time on the same object also for example in the case of a bicycle the wheel rotates at the same time it moves forward also so here the rotational motion also the translational motion takes place at the same time same time in the case of a moving ball also it rotates at the same time it moves forward consider the case of sewing machine when its wheel rotates the needle makes up and down motion both are periodic the wheel rotates in regular intervals of time whereas the needle makes up and down motion also at the regular intervals of time so here also a combination of two types of movement is there this we learned about translatory motion that is of two types linear motion and circular motion linear motion itself is rectilinear motion and circular motion is also called curvy linear motion then second one rotational motion third periodic motion and fourth one non periodic motion now what is the difference between rotational motion and circular motion rotational motion in that the object moves on an axis and its different parts keeps a different distance from the axis the axis is passing through the center of that object itself inside the object itself the axis passes through whereas in circular motion the object moves about a center 
moves in a circular path about a center and the center is outside the object but it is the center of that path earth's revolution is a circular motion whereas earth's rotation is a rotational motion hope you understood the topic well and do your doubts and suggestions in the comment box if you did not subscribe the channel please subscribe and tap the bell button also thank you